out of the church and understand the spiritual development means that I will go into isolation. I won't be able to actually um, congregate and conversate with others because that transformation brings a breaking. So um, in Corinthians 3 and 16 through 17, you want me to stop first? <laughs> I was just thinking because, you know, you shared your notes with me Come and on. I was thinking about all of all in all of these. In the Bible, everyone goes into isolation. Jesus, Everyone does. Mm -hmm. Moses, every single person goes into isolation because you can't always hear from God if you're listening to everything oh. outside of you. Jesus. Yeah. When someone is telling you this is what's about you and you go, I don't, I don't know. Is that about me? You have to go by yourself and you have to say, is this really who I am? And then you say, God, is this who we really are? No. So if you don't sit by yourself and get that, that's that to me also is the breakdown, mm -hmm. the breakdown mm -hmm. of that temple, because the temple that you have built up has been given to you. Hey, when we talk, you know, when we talk in our in our um, leadership meetings and in our, our classes, we always talk about the the Jeez. I can't think of the word right now, but it's it's the decolonization that we have to go through of our mind. Mm. We have been fed so many things that when we go by ourselves, you find out, I'm not that person. Personally, hey. I've always been told, actually, you're extremely emotional. You're extremely emotional. You're always crying. You're always so sad. And it's, I just feel very deeply. And it's okay that I'm more emotional than you, but that doesn't mean I'm some overtly emotional person and I don't have logic. So I had to get by myself and go, one, I need to balance this. But two, also, I need to be okay with what you're saying about me because it's really what it is about me. And it's not just your projection of me. It's not what you're just going to decide to tell me that I am. Right. So that's also for me in the kingdom building, when you break it down, because in the notes, it talks about the breakdown, you break down everything people have told you about you and get to know the real you uh, so that you can come into that real agreement with yourself, then that real agreement with spirit and God and goddess, and then walk forward on your journey, on your path. Mm -hmm. Does that mean it's going to be lonely sometimes? Absolutely. Does it mean when you're in isolation, sometimes you're going to wake up and you're going to feel like, well, where is everybody? And God is saying, I'm right here. Yeah. Depend on me. Look on me. Found, find salvation in me because I didn't tell you you needed those people or what those people have been telling you. Amen. All right. <laughs> holy, holy. <laughs> God user. All right. So here, um, what she's bringing in is the understanding of 3 and 16 through 17 of 1 Corinthians. And here um, it's saying, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in you? Question mark. This is a question for everyone. Um, if anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. So anyone that comes in and tries to defile someone that is doing that self-work, self-development. I know a lot of people, you know, in ministries, they don't like that, but that's what it is. You cannot go to church and not work on yourself. It was never meant for someone to work on you because it is a self-development type of work that Jesus Christ is giving. You understand? Because it's between you and your father now. When you grow up, you and your father, and I like to add mother because a father can't be anything to us without a mother. That would keep us in a position of imbalance. Imbalance is when you're not balanced in your thinking, in the work or whatever you're doing. And it's because the woman has been outside of the picture. So we bring the woman in and I and my father are one. But also when we go to um, let us make man, let us, there is a need for us to understand. And many, many um, doors will begin to open mentally and consciously when we bring man and woman together because generations cannot be healed without man and woman, see, woman seeing their error and both of them needing the understanding of the covenant. The covenant in a relationship 
It has to be partnership. It has to be brought in, in your work, wherever you go drive. It has to be one with you and others. Not to say that you have to do that, but this is how it goes. The covenant has to be one with you in order for you to have peace, in order for you to have joy, because you can't have these things if you're not in agreement with the father, but then there is a mother. You all think about it. So I'm gonna go on with Corinthians. It says, if anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy them, all right? For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Now, that is personal. With that being personal, Ashley, you went into this here comment that was put in our um, notes. And it says, now then, before your temple is built for kingdom purpose, it must be broke down. That's why you, you see through the Bible, nothing but transformation. You always see even David is running. But then David wants to build a temple. He can't build a temple after he becomes a king because of his hands, all of the blood, um, the mistakes that he's made. Uh, so Solomon comes in and Solomon is given that ability and there's adorning. There's even uh, gems that are put into the temple. That's in the Old Testament. So we want to keep going. So the, the breakdown happens for transformation to occur. There is no transformation or no change in anyone from the beginning of their life until they accept that there's inner work to be done, self-development, right? Um, testing of faith. If you're not tested on your faith and uh, you do not see that you have to uh, walk by faith, even when it looks like doomsday has come, then you have no faith. You really haven't exemplified it to the universe. Uh, testing of faith has to do with um, your endurance for kingdom potential. You know, you have the potential, but you have to exemplify the potential, not to people, but to that inner self, that inner guidance, that spirit of God within you. So you want to add before I go on? I was just going to say that um, that's where you've adopted all of those Oh, well, my mom told me this about me when I was little. So it has to be true. And you believe that for your whole life. And then every time a situation comes up showing you that about yourself, you're like, this just doesn't feel right. This yeah. just doesn't feel like me. And 